Hello everyone, my name is Kaden and I am back with a, another video and today I have now decided to become a sprite animator. And by the way, this is actually a P PNG. Because if I go into my library, because I have all of these, these are all bitmaps, but I have a Sonic sprite that is on the computer that... where is it? I'm pretty sure I still have it. Here, here it is, and it's a GIF. This one's a GIF. See, Sonic running dot GIF. But if I put that on here, I can hurry up. Can go on there. If I hit play, oh, the tail. You might see the tails moving, but it's no big deal. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Oh, wait, something different. I'll put him up here, and I'll make him go from here. Oh, oops, he's me to do that. From right there to here. See, look at this. Oh wait, and then, and then add a classic twin. Is it a classic twin? No, it's a motion twin. Actually, sorry for freezing on. But as you see, the Sonic is moving at one frame constantly. And if I go onto first frame, to go to second, it's not doing much. So see if I go onto, like, say, if I want to go onto tenth frame, because it's more than just ten frames for the Sonic. See, look at this. The tail sprite is got is actually got a movement pace. Now, actually, what I've done here is I've made a symbol of the tails and run animation. So if I go and click on those tails, you see there's more than one sprite here. And all the and the run animation is turned on to loop. So and this is the third frame. And so this is what I've done. So I'm a really big fan of Sonic as well. So let's get rid of that layer. And I will be starting a new sprite series, and this is actually one of my newest ones, which is what it would ha it would be like without that without tails. And so it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a animation show off of tails' abilities and what would it be what it, would it be like? Because tails is like an easy mode to the Sonic 3 game. But I need to change up his animation just a slight bit. So I just need to get rid of this animation here. So now I just have a classic run animation. Of course, if I want to make it faster, I get rid of each frame. Which will make Because I make an animation at 30 frames per second, as you guys can see here. As well. But I'm working on a new frame thing. So. And it's gonna be hard to try to animate tails with his tails. Which, if that makes any sense. Um, actually, I think I have his tail sprites on my computer still. I'm not sure. But if no one actually has heard of a YouTuber or YouTuber thing called uh, Dorkly, they make um, pixel animations and they think they actually got their own show on uh, Crunchyroll, actually. I think. Yeah. So I have tail sprites here. All of the tail sprites. And see, look. And then I and then if I go up here, then I have Sonic's things as well. And but the sad thing is that it's not transparent. See if I put that up there. It's black. No reason. But it's a black background. <sighs> Alright. So these are all sprite images. And then we've just got regular images. So, wait, would I put the tail series? So, now I just need to edit the tails. Operation the tails. Actually, what I need to do though is I need to upload the exact size of the tails model and just swap it out for a ta for one of his tails. So tails. I'm not really pro at this, but I'm not really a good sprite, sprite animator either. And now all I have to do is now swap that sprite animation out because that's actually I think that's for him. Actually, wait, I can't tell. Boom. And then we 
we've got the tails. And then we. So it's basically the same thing. And then what I just do now is I just basically go and swap the tails model. Let's see. And then swap it again. This is actually what I was originally going to do a, another series called Sonic vs Mario, but I'm just too bloody lazy. And now if I play the animation. Now that looks much better. At the rate that I've done it. And now we have uh, Tails um, running with his tails and there will be a scene where he loses his tail in the intro sequence. So this is more of a behind the scenes footage of Tails losing his tail, which is his iconic feature to being called Tails. Because Tails can fly! Because Tails is a majestical thing of... What? I need to think about what... You know what? What, what is Tails actually? Oh no. I'll find out eventually. No, he's actually a fox. <laughs> okay, so this is the animation Tails with Tails without his Tails. Tails is Tails of Tails. Now that's a good video. Alright, guys, um, that was the video. If you guys do like this tutorial, um, once I have started getting into sprite animation, I will release all my sprite files down to you guys, and maybe I might be able to see your creations that you guys have created, if I'm lucky enough. But, yeah. And, it should be okay. Alright guys, if you did like this video, please subscribe, and if you want any more tutorials on how to do random animation things, and yes, I use Vacro Media Flash professionally. Um, I, I'm not really professional. I was gonna use beginner, but beginner's too annoying. And hey, you should have seen my first animation when using MS Paint. So this is much easier to use, considering that MS Paint you literally have to export frame by frame by frame by frame by frame by frame. And by the way, if you do hear birds chirping in the background, I have two rainbow lorikeets with I think with babies in the thing, and they are. They like in front of me, obviously. But anyway, guys, my name is Ken, and I'm officially signing off. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, wait. Up, 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 up.